versus Nova, co-starring the Dart Swinger and Nova Coop. In the supporting roles, Miss Sandy Beach and her big brother, Rocky. He's as rugged as his name. Rocky's the number one crane operator for the biggest wrecker in these parts. Takes a good man to handle his job and his hobbies. He's been a skydiver, has a closet full of road racing trophies, and made the Olympics in weightlifting. Now, his sister Sandy is a different type altogether. As a receptionist in a very quiet office, her most strenuous task is arranging the flowers on her desk. Her hobby is relaxing with a good book. As for sports, she tried once, but found it utterly exhausting. But Sandy and Rocky do have something in common. We hate winter in the temperate zone. With a purple passion. So they're planning a move to the land of palm trees and sunshine. But first, they're each going to buy a new car. They've settled on compacts. I think I'll look at a Dodge Dart. Chevy Nova for me. So Sandy visits her friendly local Dodge dealer to see the new Dart models. And Rocky asks his Chevrolet dealer what models Nova has to offer. He learns that technically there are only two models. One is the Nova four-door sedan. This basic model is competitive in price and trim with the Dodge Dart four-door sedan. Then where Dart has the swingin' swinger two-door hardtop. Now that stokes my fire. She's Dodge material, all right. Anyway, the Nova buyer, who wants a two-door, has to settle for a coupe, no hardtop. Both Dart and Nova offer interior and exterior trim options for the models covered so far. To step up to custom model level, the Nova buyer orders a basic coupe or sedan, plus optional custom exterior and interior trim packages. At this level, Dart has the custom models, two-door hardtop and four-door sedan. Yummy. Any more models? One, Sandy, and it's a live one. Swinger 340. Wow, looks like a top eliminator. You can bank on it. With its standard 340 cube, 275 horse mill, it can blow the doors off performance cars with bigger engines and higher power ratings, including the Nova Coupe with optional SS package. Its 350 V8 is rated at 300 horsepower, but that's no edge at all against a giant killer. Incidentally, Nova and SS are the only nameplates in the lineup. Nova's confusing options rule out model distinction. Every Dart is distinguished by its own nameplate, including the Dart GT package, which is the custom hardtop with optional buckets. Now, let's rejoin the proud and happy owners of two brand new cars on delivery day. Hey, you didn't tell me you'd gotten a hardtop. How come you didn't? Going square in your old age? Age, mage, Nova doesn't build a hardtop, stupid. Okay, okay, you're not stupid. Forget it, man. That would only be the beginning anyway. Look up front. That grill, really rocky. What's wrong with it? Oh, absolutely nothing. It's probably the most time-tested design on the road. Would you care to estimate how many Chevys you've seen over the years with this same familiar face? When I invest in a new car, I want it to have a pretty new face, like Swinger. Gotta admit, this makes mine look like just another pea in the Chevy pod. And did you check the length of these cars? Yep, same wheelbase, both 111. Length, Rocky, length. All right, stubborn. Your Swinger's nearly seven inches longer. Now, let's knock this off and get packing for that early morning start. Oof, you and your solid gold trophies. Where to? My car, in the trunk. Hey, look, that spare louse is up your floor space. The steamer trunk will never make it. No strain. Want to try my luggage compartment? Why bother? That's why. Oh, you little doll. You took out the spare just so you could tote my trophies. Sure I did. Greater love hath no sister. It's going to make it. And don't forget, with no strain. Whew, that's a relief. Now let's finish packing. We can't be late to our farewell party. Now what a send-off they're getting. But they stick to their plan and get off to an early morning start. And soon they're conforming to the standard six-stage turnpike cycle. You dive in. Grind along. Pull into a plaza. 
head for the facilities, get a snack, and gas up to start the cycle all over again. Now during these stops and underway, Sandy and Rocky have been discovering more differences between their cars. For instance, Dart's new safety door release lever operates only with a deliberate inward pull. No accidental nudge can cause the door to fly open. Nova still has the old rotary release that most car makers have discontinued. Also, Sandy's seat back release lever is at a convenient height. Rocky has to reach every time. Swinger's seat is higher, softer, and more comfortable. Both cars give ample headroom, legroom, and shoulder room front and rear. In the automotive news roominess index, the Swinger hardtop and Nova Coupe each totals a fraction over 267 inches. So roominess is a draw. This wire in the windshield is Nova's radio antenna. The wire is so fine it will never distract the driver. That is, until the first time he becomes aware of it. Then it can... Well, let's ask the man who owns one. Rocky? Can bug you, like a little stone chip. Now here's a difference that showed up when Rocky and Sandy switched cars for one cycle. Instrumentation. Dart has gauges for temperature, fuel, speed, and alternator. The only warning light is for oil pressure. Nova has a speedometer and fuel gauge. All other conditions are reported by warning lights only. And compare the readability of these two panels. Here's Nova's panel as seen under perfect lighting conditions by a driver with perfect eyesight and the swinger panel under the same perfect conditions. But take a driver who is a little nearsighted or farsighted, toss in some astigmatism and head him into a low sun. Then how does the panel read? Well, my swinger panel looks like this when I'm heading into the sun, a little fuzzy because I'm slightly farsighted. But I can make it out okay without my reading glasses. Poor Rocky though, he has a problem. Yeah. I don't need glasses to see ahead of the hood, but I do need them to read this panel, unless I squint real hard. Well, by now, Rocky is understandably grumpy. I gotta take that smart alecky kid sister down a peg. But how? Yeah, here's how. Split from this turnpike and take a road that separates the men from the girls. Well, how about that? Rocky the road racer leading his kid sister into the boondocks so he can dust off the swinger. No, I won't be too rough on her. Just leave her about 20 miles behind, wait for her to catch up, then rub it in a little. What's the matter, sis? Can't that swinger swing on anything but a turnpike? Okay, Nova, here we go. Let's see, I'll swing in close to the mailbox, drift outside, then slant back in. That ought to do it. And so it goes, mile after mile. Rocky's pulling every trick in his book, and he's taking a beating. The computer that designed this suspension must have flipped a cog. Not exactly, Rocky. It has a lot less to work with than the Dodge computers. Ordinary coil springs up front. In back, single leaf rear springs on every Nova, up to and including the standard V8 model. To get multiple leaves, you have to go into the optional V8s. Dark torsion air suspension is much costlier. Torsion bar front springs are teamed with multi-leaf rear springs on all models. The result is a smooth ride and sports car handling. And this explains why Rocky has... A tailgater. Well, I'll be... It's Sandy. You can't lose a winner, Rocky. She's been with you all the way. And to quote you, no strain. Swinger's smoother handling, plus the extra 30 horsepower over your standard V8, can equalize a lot of tricky driving. Get the rocks out? Why, that little... <laughs> okay, Rocky, face it. <laughs> this road separated the men from the girls, all right. Not quite the way we planned it, but a guy can't win them all. Oh.